My dad picked up this gently mangled homemade tea slot table at the scrapyard for me. After temporarily fixing a broken leg and cleaning the table up, it was set in place in the shop. Let's make a set of tea slot nuts for the table. I didn't have any cold rolled steel of suitable size on hand, so I started by facing both edges of this hot rolled steel I had. Once that was completed, I switched to a half inch carbide roughing mill and went for full depth at about 1100 RPMs, 5 inches per minute. Now the cut sounded great and the chips were satisfactory, but I'm going to speed up the video here and I want you to watch the end mill pull out of the collet. It wasn't clear to me until it was too late. Well, unfortunately that failed. Here's the first cut I took. Each subsequent cut got deeper and deeper. Now I thought that was a problem with my Z axis because it was always zeroing out just fine. But no, I figured it was the bit pulling out of the collet and making a deeper and deeper cut each time. And unfortunately I didn't realize that in time and I put an apprentice mark in my nice vise. So I cut a new piece of stock here. Let's take a lighter cut and see if we can make it work. This go around, I'm taking half depth passes, but keeping the RPMs at 1100 and the feed at five inches per minute. I then spot drilled where all of the threaded holes are to go. Pilot drill and drill to final size. Chamfered and power tapped for half 13. The individual pieces were cut out on the bandsaw and then the edges were cleaned up on the mill off camera. I tried bluing for the first time. I'm not sure I degreased the parts well enough, but I was happy with the results. Well, here they are. They turned out pretty good. It was a fun learning experience, and now I've got a useful set of T-nuts for my new-to-me junkyard welding table. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.